they'll never see us. Welcome to the Outer Worlds. Today we're going to try to take down the Mega Manted Queen. So if you like the Outer Worlds, make sure you give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of these. And let me know in the comments if you like the game, if you're trying it out. So I've been putting the, this off for a while, trying to take her down. And it's not going to be easy. I don't have the greatest weapons going on here, but I think we'll do what we can. Uh, and as I was doing this, actually, a mic on my uh, system messed up. So there isn't really any commentary other than this through the game. Boys, so, you don't need to take it through the whole thing. And uh, see if I can take this baby down. And then we'll move the story forward, too.
That assist was a violation of corporate law if I ever saw one. Since it was to my benefit, and we're largely in lawless lands, I'll look the other way. C3 owes you one, stranger. You haven't seen Constance, have you? Ah, there's her torso. And that'll be her legs over yonder, never mind. I'm Berthold. What in the void are you thinking, creeping around a mana queen like that? At the time, I was thinking, please don't see me, oh law, I don't want to die, nah nah nah. Now I'm thinking it was stupid to come in here. Killing marauders and hooligans, as I am handsomely paid to do. Of course, as me and Constance discovered, they ain't the only forms of life inhabiting these caverns. I owe you a debt for saving my neck, stranger, and I mean to pay it. There's a station up the way. It's where my C3s are posted. We can talk more there where it's safe. I'll be on my way, once I've gathered up Constance's parts. Thank <laughs> you. 
And here we are. Told you we'd make it in one piece. Station ain't too far now. What's up? Hiram has him on retainer to guard the caverns. They have a station around here somewhere. Maybe they can help. Unless you want to go romping through traps and shooting marauders yourself. Could be fun. Hey you! Get over here! There are marauders up ahead! Oh no. How the hell did marauders navigate the caverns? This station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. You a marauder? Cause me and my sunshine, that's my gun if you were wondering, we don't take kindly to marauders. A coherent enough response, I reckon. Must be true. You're clear, but I would caution you against pressing on ahead. This station's plumb crawling with marauders, you know. Me and Sunshine are doing exactly what we've been tasked with, and that's guarding these big old devil's peak horns. There is nothing I'd enjoy more, but the C3s play it by the book. Usually. Go petition the boss man. Maybe you can convince him to alter my duties. You ought to talk to my crew. They're guarding a small barracks to the southeast, by the edge of the mountain. See that path that runs underneath that giant archway? Follow it on down. There's a little station near the cliff. You'll find the rest of my crew there. Hey, Manic Queen Slayer. Glad you made it in one piece. After all, not everyone's so lucky. Meet my corporate compliance crew. Then check out our weapons locker inside. I reckon you'll find something you like. Then we call it even between us. We were hired to do so, why else? You did get the memo that we're mercenaries. Our client's a bit unorthodox, sure. He calls himself the Broker. 
and prefers the glow of a terminal to flesh and blood interaction. But I can't fault his work ethic. Our current gig's to stop, by means of lethal force, any creatures exiting the caverns, including but not limited to marauders, iconoclasts, and agents operating for the MSI. You drive a hard bargain, Manic Queen Slayer. It don't make much financial sense for C3 to expend resources on any killing beyond the contract stipulations. As the Marauders didn't enter from the caves, the requirements are... Mm, murky. At the same time, we do want to keep our client alive. Until the payment's cleared. We recommended the client safeguard himself so I don't expect that the main doors will be accessible. Find a way to open them, and we'll clear any hostels on the inside. I'd best radio ahead for Joy and Hudson to prep for us. They'll be at the station entrance, ready with our finest auto mechanicals to assist you. C3s, prepare to move out. We're locked and loaded. Joy and Hudson know you're coming. They'll back you in the frontal assault on Devil's Peak. There you are. Bossman said you'd be up this way. If you're living up in a tower on a place called Devil's Peak, you might be some type of serial villain. To be honest, I'm surprised it's still standing. Every time I set foot inside, I half expect the tower to fall over. Fox radioed ahead. Said I'm to follow you. Provide whatever support you need. If those bastards start shooting, we'll join in. I gotta warn you, my girl Sunshine here is a tad trigger happy. Of course, me and her will follow your lead. Just wanted you to know we wouldn't begrudge you of any violent inclinations. You're A-OK, -okay, stranger. Hear that, Hudson? It's payday.
Oh. oh, that's the last of him. Waste of company ammo. Company ammo. Hiram must have sealed the door. He's... he spooks easy. see about that. Again? Here's the elevator. But it ain't gonna budge while this place is on lockdown. Guess we keep moving forward. Look for another way up. Into my station. 
You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. Also, he hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of purple berry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. No, no, no. We'll deal with information-related business later. As I said, there are bigger problems threatening my life and livelihood at this very moment. The Marauders want me dead. And since my hired hands have clearly turned idle, it appears I need you to clear out the threat. As my newest contractor, you may call me... The Broker. Or we can call you Hiram, on account of that's your damn name, and doubly on the account of The Broker being a dumbass alternative. What? Everyone calls me that. Aside from you. Action. It's about time, I tell you. I'm up to my neck and marauders in here, which, by the by, they were supposed to prevent. I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. Aside from the bids I'll be paying you, you said you wanted something from me, something information related. I'll give it to you, in person, once I'm safe.
last of them, I think. Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. And you got me my money's worth out of the C3s. I ought to have simply dealt with you in the first place. Hmm, yes, I believe I do. This ought to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly valued service rendered. But, I admit... I do wonder why Nioka has brought you to me. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? Ah, yes. Our little chat on the intercom. You're looking for the premier broker for all of Monarch. Which you knew was me, clearly. Phineas must have sent you. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look, I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts always. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing Raptodons off your stoop. Have you seen Doc Wells? The guy's ancient. You take any more time and he's liable to croak. I take offense to that. Look, okay. Just, it might take me a while this time. I am awaiting but a single incoming transmission containing the information we desire. But MSI and the Iconoclasts are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. In their war against each other, they're scrambling each other's outgoing transmissions. Exactly what I was thinking. They hurt us all with their pettiness. Which, of course, has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extraplanetary can get in or out until the frequency pollution thins out. The safest bet is to convince Graham and Sanjar to stop transmitting on their end. You do that, I'll be here, waiting on the receiving end. Luck be with you. I have a feeling you'll be needing a pinch of it, plus a vat of patience. Be a doll and shoot any marauders you spot on the way down. So, we've got a new mission from this guy. So come back tomorrow and we will move the mission forward. So remember to like the video if you like the game and comment. Tell me uh, what you think of this game and subscribe if you want to see more of these. We'll see you in the next video.